What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here with a great gameplay for Evolve PlayStation 4. As you guys may or may not know, PlayStation 4's Evolve it has kind of a closed beta. It's called a technical test. And uh, they sent out these codes to, codes to select gamers. And luckily for me, I was one of them. And so today was my first day actually playing Evolve. And I'm playing as the monster. And uh, my first impressions after playing about 10 to 15 matches, I love this game. It's absolutely enthralling it is addicting it is good in every single way and I think this is just what the doctor ordered for people out there who've been playing a lot of first-person shooters like last year in 2014 there was tons of first-person shooters that came out and they all had something in common this game doesn't have anything in common with any of them maybe other than the fact that you can double jump other than that this game is totally different and it is totally awesome I went on and took the chance of trying out the monster I initially didn't want to because I don't like the idea of me going against four people who may or may not be pretty good, but I figured hell with it. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Let's try it out. I fell in love with the Goliath. This thing is actually really awesome. If you know what to do and how to do it, you can really uh, wail off on people and, and really cause a lot of destruction. The point of the game with these Goliaths or monsters is to get away from the hunters. There are four hunters in the game and they're after you the entire match. So what you want to do is get far away from them, preferably to the other side of the map. And these maps are huge. When I say huge, I'm talking about bigger than Battlefield, any Battlefield. These maps are gigantic. And uh, you feel how big they are. And the thing is, it feels like this game is two different games. Two totally different experiences. When you're playing as one of these monsters, it feels like a third-person adventure type of game. Maybe like Darksiders or something, Darksiders 2. It kind of feels like that, the way you're moving around. But, when you're playing as one of the, the four hunters, it feels like a traditional first-person shooter on steroids. And the reason it's on steroids is because all four different classes, control they don't control differently, but the movesets are so different, vastly different, that you feel extremely important to the team. So it's like a four-player mashup against one guy. And it works so well. If you don't play your part as a hunter, your team will lose. If you're a medic and you're not healing your team as they're fighting, you're going to lose. If you're a, a, a trapper, or a, a, yeah, I think it's called a trapper. If you're a trapper and you're not, you know, uh, setting links to grab onto the monster or putting them inside the big giant net, your team's going to lose. If you're the assault and you're not willing off on this monster, your team's going to lose. Uh, support, awesome. They can track the monster, you can shoot the monster and, and you know kind of tranquilize him with the medic it's awesome stuff that you can do in this game uh, but back to the monster my favorite guy in the game I'm evolving right now and the reason you evolve is you get to the other side of the map or away from the hunters you eat enemies and uh, try to stay away from them but they, they kind of trap me here let's see what happens uh, but you evolve and you you get stronger and you get more abilities and stronger abilities until you're evolved to level 3 evolution and once you hit level 3 uh, pretty much you're at the, the peak of your power and you can, you can go and take out their little uh, command center so to speak and win the game or you can just kill them right now they got me trapped but it's a really fun game it just feels so different uh, I know a lot of guys some of my friends even on YouTube have said that no I don't like the game it's not that great I think it's awesome I think that people who say this game is garbage probably didn't really give it the chance it deserves it just really feels different and it feels like two totally different games in one. It's just crazy. And, and it's hard to put into words. Being this monster and walking around and feeling gigantic and jumping like a quarter of a mile. And then going into the shoes of one of the hunters and feeling how small you are. And seeing that the world still exists in this small human frame and how much harder you have to work to get around. It's just really, really awesome. I think they did a great job with this. This game will be dropping on February 10th. And I'm, I'm super excited about it. I think 2015... Is looking like a great year. 2014 was okay, but I think 2015 is going to improve on everything we saw last year. I mean, we're already at the beginning of the year. We got this game dropping February 10th. We got a new Resident Evil dropping any day now. We've got The Order 1886 coming to PlayStation 4, and that game looks awesome. I'm super excited about it, and I'll probably have all three you know, on days of release, but I know for sure I'll have this game the day it drops. It's just too fun. It just feels so good. And uh, another great thing about it is if you're playing as the Hunters and you got a team of four, none of you will ever be the monster. You can always work together. So that does work out really well. Kind of sucks for the person playing as the monster, but I think the monster has enough 
at his disposal to uh, to even take care of a, a fairly well-rounded team of four who are communicating. If you know what you're doing, this thing is like fighting, uh, you know, Godzilla. Especially once it hits level three, it's so big and so fast and so strong that as a hunter, no matter what you are, your your health is going to deteriorate unless that team is like excellent. Unless the medic is standing back healing them as they shoot you, they're going to have a lot of trouble. And I think this game is really great for for the experience I've had so far. It's one of the best betas I've ever played. I haven't had any problems with it this time. I know last time the alpha came out on PS4 and nobody was able to access it. It looks like they really took care of that issue. This beta has worked flawlessly, and as far as the technical test goes, it's perfect. Now I want to get to the second part of this video. I want to start by saying thank you to all my old subscribers. You guys have been riding with me for a year, and it's been a great, great ride. I've been having a lot of fun. I also want to say thanks to all the new subscribers. Even in 2015, it's been an outpour of new subscribers, an outpour of new love, and it makes me feel great. You know, for a while I was wondering if I was going to be successful at YouTube. I was wondering if I even mattered. And uh, at those times when I've been questioning myself, you guys have always been there to lift me up. Whether you knew it or not, in the comment section, making funny comments, uh, adding thumbs up to my videos, and just being there has strengthened my resolve and gave me a win. You know, my second win. I'm really looking forward to 2015. I'm really looking forward to being here creating new content and uh, getting better at my job. You guys have seen me own, uh, really honing my craft and becoming a better commentator, becoming a better gamer, and becoming a better YouTuber. It's a, you know, it's a process. But you guys have been here with me, and I wanted to give you guys a thank you. I wanted to show some love to my subscribers and give something back. And so I'll be doing a giveaway on Wednesday. The giveaway will be for this. The iTunes digital version of Hercules 2014 starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This is the full movie, not the rental. So this will be for one of my subscribers, one of you guys. And it will be yours on Wednesday. What I'll do on Wednesday is reveal the winner uh, on the YouTube channel. And then I will send the winner an email with your download voucher. And the movie will be yours. The only caveat to win this prize is, of course, being a subscriber to the Beastly Gamer channel. I think that's pretty important. And answering a question for me. Now, the question that I'm going to be asking is, what was your favorite game in 2014? What game last year did you play that meant the most to you out of every game that you got a chance to experience? Now, it doesn't have to be the most uh, financially successful or the game that everybody played or the one that you think everybody played. I'm talking about you. You personally. What game was it? It could be on your cell phone. It doesn't matter. I want to pick the one that feels the most real to me. The one that I can actually feel. You know, I spent a lot of time playing games in my life and they haven't always been the ones that are the most popular. You know, in 2014 I spent a lot of time playing a game called King Oddball. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have no idea what that is. It's a game on iOS, Android, and PlayStation 4. I actually played it on the PS4 for the first time and it's like... Angry Birds type of experience, but I was totally hooked, and I spent a lot of time playing that in 2014. That could have been your favorite game of the year. It doesn't matter. You know, we're all gamers. I think games are games, and if you play a game, that makes you a gamer. You don't have to be hardcore. You know, you don't have to be in any stereotype of gaming. If you like games, you're a gamer. If you play games, you're a gamer. And I want to know what game you guys played in 2014 is the one that made you proud to be a gamer. I went through a lot of them. I started off playing Infamous Second Son, which is a pretty good experience. It wasn't anything to write home about. And then when The Last of Us Remastered came, that was my first game of the year that I was super excited about. I spent a lot of time getting to know Joel and Ellie again and really digging my nails into the factions multiplayer of that game. And it's still one of my favorite games. I can't give it Game of the Year 2014 because it was my favorite game of 2013, but that game really, really meant a lot to me. Destiny was an awesome game to play in 2014. And even now, I'm really getting sucked back into it. It's like every time you walk away and you come back, it has something else to offer you. New weapon, new place, new something. And, and your friends are, everybody's playing it. It just feels so fun. Destiny, I spent a lot of time playing. I wish I could say I spent more time playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but I didn't. It kind of died out on me and fizzled. Played a lot of Smash Brothers in 2014. But my favorite game of the year was Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U. That game had everything. 
It had story. It had character. It had awesome soundtrack, fun animation, huge move set. It was just a very rewarding game to play, and I'm super, super happy and thankful for Nine to Five Gamers for lending me that awesome game, my game of the year. You tell me yours in the comments below. Take as long as you need. I'm going to read them all. I am so thankful for all you guys. You guys are the best subscribers in the world. I want you all to know that. Thanks for being so great. And if you're new to the channel, now's your chance. Subscribe to the BC Gamer channel and leave your comment in the comment section below. As always, I'm the BC Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.